24 volt reciprocating saw. We'll test it when we get back. I'm Tim Johnson. You're watching Shop Tool Reviews. This is the Flex 24 volt brushless sensorless motor reciprocating saw. That's right. We'll explain that in just a moment. Now, model number on this is the FX2271. Again, it runs on their new 24 volt platform and you see the battery gauge on this. Pretty awesome. Anyway, let's dive into the details. Look at each one of them. Look at some of the specs. Then we'll use it and we'll see if it actually matches some of the claims they've got out there. Then we'll come back, talk about pricing, talk about warranty. That's another big asterisk there. Again, we'll explain that in a moment. Let's get to the testing. This is the Flex 24 volt brushless reciprocating saw. Uh, the model number is the FX2271. Now this runs on the new Flex 24 volt platform. Uh, in this case, we have the five amp hour battery that it's actually kitted with. It also comes with a 160 watt charger. We'll talk about the battery and charger here in a moment. Now this also has what Flex is calling their sensorless brushless motor. Now, what do they mean by that? Because a brushless motor is digital and digital motors require sensors. Well, what they're meaning is there are no sensors that are actually on board uh, the brushless motor itself. So in doing so, they're able to move those sensors kind of off board of the motor and put it somewhere else in the tool. And that allows them to get slimmer on the motor itself. So making it smaller per se, at least where you have to house it. Uh, so you got a slimmer motor for the power that it can put out. Also, uh, Flex does a really good job talking about uh, brushless motors and sensors and electronics. We have to keep those cool, especially when we're running a saw, uh, like a reciprocating saw, when we're doing a lot of demolition work or uh, we're doing a lot of destructive work. Typically, we're running these things really hard. They're shaking a lot. In this case, this one doesn't shake a lot. But regardless, typically, we're pushing a recip saw pretty hard. Uh, and so you've got to keep things cool. So Flex does a great job at taking the air, pulling it into the tool, cooling the brushless motor, cooling the electronics, cooling uh, all your, uh, your business end of the, of the tool as well to keep everything cool so that it's safe and so that it can be used again and again. Now we get a nice uh, rubber overmold here on the handle. I've said before on, on their fastening tools, on their impact wrenches and drills, I like their grips. Uh, a lot of it has kind of a, a diamond impregnated grip. Um, if you feel it, it's, it's got a nice rough texture, and I say nice rough texture, meaning it still grabs, but it's not uncomfortable to hold, so I like their rubber overmolding. Uh, right here on the top, we have a trigger lock, so you can lock the trigger so it doesn't engage and doesn't operate the tool, and then switch it to unlock, and obviously then you can, can operate the tool. Over here on the opposite side, we have a, a rafter hook, so you can hang this somewhere, whether it be on a, on a two by on a ceiling joist or uh, just wherever in the shop you want to. We get a vibration suppression system as well. And in fact, they claim up to 40% less than typical uh, reciprocating saws. So basically you've got some counteracting weights in here that are offsetting that vibration that you typically get on a reciprocating saw. And really a lot of times, the more power you add to these things, the more you will actually feel that in your hand. I'm telling you, we've already used this and they've done a great job at eliminating a lot of that or at least mitigating a lot of that vibration, even when you're really working this tool hard. Right here, we get we got a lever here that's gonna tell us whether we want to use or whether we want to engage uh, the orbital motion or just the straight motion. So the straight motion is just gonna move that blade in and out the orbital is only going to actually kind of give that a sawing motion or give the blade an orbit, if you will, as opposed to just straight in and out. We also get an adjustable shoe here. So with the push of this button, we can push this and move this shoe in and out or remove it. Uh, typically, we don't want to remove it. We want to use that shoe to our advantage. So that goes in and out and actually has some detents that can lock into place as well as the shoe it actually pivots as well. We also get an LED light right here on the front. So if we're in a dark area, we can still cast a little light on the area that we are trying to cut or that we are cutting. We also get a keyless blade eject. Now, what do, what do we mean by that? Well, for number one, we don't need any tools to actually install the blade or to remove the blade. So you see here, this is kind of an elliptical design here. So I don't, I don't need an Allen wrench. I don't need anything special. I don't need a lever to push or anything. 
Also, the keyless blade eject, so let's say this is red hot, you know, we've cut 52 by fours or 54 by fours, and we need to eject that blade. We really, the last thing we wanna do is actually grab onto that, especially if we don't have gloves on. So we can just turn this and it's spring loaded and it will eject that blade. Also, you'll see that that didn't return all the way back because now we can take that blade or take our new blade and install it. And now it's locked into place. I didn't have to have my hand up here to lock it into place. It's ready and willing. So again, eject it, it locks into place. Take my new blade, stick it in, and it locks that in and I'm ready to go. Now let's get a weight here on this tool and we'll do it with the blade and the five amp hour battery. And let's see here, we're zeroed out. So nine pounds, let's make sure we're, yeah, nine pounds, nine and a half ounces. So about nine, a little over nine and a half pounds with the tool and the battery. That's a heavy tool for sure, but at the same time, it's something you're doing a ton of work with. So it's something you kind of expect when you pick up a reciprocating saw is that it is going to weigh something. Uh, let's take a measurement from the shoe and we'll go to the back of the handle just to give you some reference, about 18 inches um, from, the, from the actual front of the shoe here all the way back to the back of the tool. Um, and that's gonna vary as well. If I wanted to push that in, I could probably actually get that a little bit shorter. But again, you're always gonna have that blade sticking out. So yeah, we're still roughly 18 inches as far as the length of the tool. Now let's talk about batteries and chargers here for a moment. That's one thing that Flex knows really, really well. Even though they're a newish tool company per se, they're not really because they've been around for decades. Uh, actually making polishers and surfacing stuff. And then the mother company's been around for, uh, for that long as well, making tools and batteries for other companies also. Regardless, they understand batteries and chargers. Uh, they have a really nice fuel gauge here when I push this button on the battery. So either side of this battery, I can easily see what the charge status is on that battery. So I love those large green LEDs there to let me know how much charge is left on my battery as well as on their chargers they have what comes with the kit is this 160 watt fast charger and i'll plug this in and if this battery were dead which we know it's not because we can see it's full charge but when i install this if it were hot what you would hear would be fans kicking on and i say fans because there's two fans there's two fans in this charger one that is responsible for pulling air through these ports here which in line, line up with these ports right here in the battery. So it not only cools the charger, but it also cools the battery while it is charging. And then there's another fan in there that just keeps uh, air flowing across a heat sink in there to keeping the, the charger cool as well. So really great setup when it comes to batteries and chargers so they can charge them really quick as well as they can charge them safe. Now we're gonna take this tool, we're gonna use it, they claim 50 cuts in a four x four on one charge of a five amp hour battery. We're gonna take a pressure treated four x four. We're gonna mark out 50 cuts and see if we can't do it with this one five amp hour battery. Okay, so we've got a four x four and we've got it marked every half inch uh, for 50 spaces or for 50 different cuts in this pressure treated four x four. Uh, we've got a flex wood blade on here and we'll put it in oscillating mode. We also have a full five amp hour battery because they claim 50 cuts and a four by four with a five amp hour battery. And so here we go. Had to fix our clamp and here we go back at it. Our clamps will stay, maybe we can get this done.
Okay, that's 10 so far. There's really not a lot of vibration here in the tool. It obviously is giving a lot of vibration to the wood because it keeps loosening our clamps, but it's not bad on the tool whatsoever. Okay, that's 20 so far. And we've only lost one bar. All right, here goes 21. Okay, there's 30. And we're at half a battery. Okay, we've only got one, two, three, four more to go to hit 50. One last cut. That's 50 cuts, five amp hour battery. Looks like we've got one bar left. And we've got a piece of angle iron chalked up here in the vise. Uh, just going to use the bimetal blade to cut on this. And by the way, we have it in the uh, straight mode, not in the orbital mode. Very little vibration there, not very impressed with the blade. Of course it is a just a typical bimetal blade. So we got us a, a carbide tip blade and now let's see how well it does. Yeah, that's a lot better. Very little vibration in this tool, really and truly. So 50 cuts through pressure treated four x four was no problem. In fact, we had quite a bit left in the battery. Well, I mean, one cell, but it really wasn't starting to slow down at all. I mean, we didn't notice any lack of performance even in the last cuts. So I think it could have kept going and cut several more. We didn't do that, but anyway, uh, 50 cuts through a four x four is probably more than you're gonna do in one setting, I would think. Uh, but then again, when you're doing demo work, things like that, you may do even more. Cutting through metal, it did very well. Also, the vibration control in this, uh, they do a very good job at really mitigating a lot of that vibration. Now, when the blade grabs, it's almost impossible to stop that. I mean, you know, if you're not uh, cutting correctly or you're, or you're cutting through something and the blade grabs and kind of starts moving the saw back and forth, there's no vibration control in the world that's going to stop that. But if you've got the blade moving correctly and, and you're, you're moving with this saw, it really is eliminating or at least absorbing a lot of the vibration that typically comes from that reciprocating saw moving that blade in and out. We were impressed with this. We've seen other saws that didn't do near as much of work. And a lot of times on recip saws, when you just look at RPMs or you just look at power, or you just look at voltage, really doesn't say a lot. There's a lot of mechanics that go on in a recip saw that enable it to cut well and not cut well, as well as to eliminate a lot of that vibration and a lot of that feedback that you feel through your hands and arms. And I think Flex does a good job at that. As always, their, their charger and battery technology is pretty much second to none. They do a great job with that as well. Pricing on this, 250 bucks or 249.99, or let's just call it 250. 250 bucks for the saw, the five amp hour battery, and the charger. Now here's the kicker. You get a five year warranty with it. However, if you register the tool within 30 days of purchase, 
in year 2021, they get what they call the founder's warranty. You get the founder's warranty, which is a lifetime warranty on the battery charger and the tool. So you get the saw covered for a lifetime as well as the battery and the charger. Hard to beat that. So check it out for yourselves. You can find them at Lowe's.com. You can also find them at FlexPowerTools.com. So be sure to check them out. Also keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And if you don't mind, would you hit that like and subscribe button, but only if you liked our video. As always, if you hated our video, give us a thumbs down, but would you let us know in the comments why? Have a great day and keep smiling.